Yeah, all right, off of work, I was lucky to hit. Beautiful Texas has, uh, by midnight, is the last sales of beer in markets and stores or whatever. So, except for Saturday. So, <clears throat> today, I want to cover Alaskan Brewing. Uh, there's different thoughts about it. I've enjoyed the beer. These are very easy drinking, good flavor. You can share it with your family, friends, get them in, you know, to have a good beer with you. Uh, so I cooked, I grabbed the Amber for my girlfriend. She's not very big on hops. So I did have, once again, Red King is very hoppy. Then I had the, uh, you'll shoot your eye out, which is actually pretty mellow, but you still have some hops in it. So I'm leaving this at room temperature. My glass is gonna be cold. I sit a little bit because I'm trying to get more ahead on the description and elaborate so that we can be on the same page before you sip. And honestly, the, the packaging, I love it, it's simple. It's clean, you don't anticipate too much, but you're gonna get your money's worth. I like the cool black tabs, I'll just pop it off real quick. I just think it's neat, I like different variety. There we go, Let's see if I can get this pour right. This one, it looks like a little lighter, not too much than the other ones. Oh no, the glass is too cold. But it is okay. I've messed that up, but let's see how far I can go. Oh, well. Reminds me almost like straw. And you have the little caramelly, but the little bit of hops you do get, it makes it seem almost uh, citrusy. But it's very mellow. There we go, let's see if we can get the rest of it. All right. Beautiful color, a little bit darker. It's very fizzy, it's a very good sign. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it reminds you like hay and almost orangey, lemony, but very mellow. So it's not super intense. It's like you're gonna smell it, it's very little bit. Yep, still very caramelly and very malty. So it's like um, nice brown uh, malt or barley, uh, toasty. And it's refreshing and mellow, but it's a good solid flavor. So it's not kicking my taste buds, but, but I'm definitely getting a nice straight up caramel malt flavor. Not really much hops. I mean, like I feel that I could taste a little bit, but it's very minimal. Like if I had to choose the malt is dominating this glass, but that's good. Yeah, people that aren't into hops, this is the one I'm gonna recommend. So thank you, uh, Alaskan from Alaska. It's in Juneau. And it's 5.6. Juno. Juno. So hopefully this is something you've seen, you want to try. Uh, and this helps you take that step where you have a friend that like you never find a beer from them. And hopefully this is one you can have with them. And just chill and have a good time. Period. Hopefully it's nice. Yeah, definitely. It has a little, a good amount of sweetness from the beer. Not like sugary, just like you taste the sweet malt sugar. And uh, that's very nice and appealing. So this is a good beer. Um, I'm gonna say it's like, you know, a four for me because I do enjoy hops. So like this one was more like a seven, you know, like I loved it, but that's because I, I enjoy hops now. This is more or less than hops, so more malt. Uh, it's great for everybody, but if I had to choose, I'd choose the beast. So hopefully if you're new, you subscribe and I, my other videos can help you out. Uh, if you've been on subscribing, awesome. Thank you. Keep watching. Hopefully I'm giving you some kind of information something to look at or a beer you haven't had that you want to try and now you're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Or like, yep, that wasn't mine. I'm not even gonna go close to that. That way you can focus on beers that appeal to you more or that you know are gonna appeal. So thank you for checking me out. Do drive safe. Don't waste your beer. Try not to spill your beer. But if you have to, make sure it's for good times and good memories and so you can go home safe. Thank you for watching.